Okay, so we have three, four pull requests from five pull requests from Lawrence. Um and um one from Hank. So that's based on us adopting a document that is in has a has a adoption call right now. Uh, would anyone like to say what, if they've looked at any of these other ones at this point? There's one they would like to start with. Um, any of the top four, my preference would be one of the top three. I'm guessing we might even be able to get through all three of the top three, but we'll see. 137 might be the simplest of those, then 139, then 138, but I think they're all ones that we can discuss out of the top three. Okay. I, I picked this one first only because it's the shortest one. If I remember right. Uh, if others haven't, then you should probably just go straight to the files view. Um, I think if I remember right, this one is only two sentences changed, but uh, maybe three sentences changed. Well, no, it's two sentences changed. Hank and I both had changes to the second sentence, but the uh, biggest, maybe the the, the uh, only real technical or only real wording issue is that the second sentence is somewhat redundant with the uh, previous sentence that follows it. And so I wanted to take that uh, I wanted to see that those two sentences got merged rather than a new one added that's redundant. So, okay. Oh, that's, you want to merge. Yeah, because if, if you read the eight, no, no, if you read 817, and then you read it, if you scroll down to the one that is not in green, so between 817 and 819, uh, I claim that 817 and 819 are redundant. You see the uh, indicating compliance or non-compliance. That's a phrase that appears in both of them. And so I wanted to see that those two sentences got merged was my suggestion rather than sounding redundant. Okay, so we really need a different pull request to merge them? Um, not necessarily. Okay, so uh, you're happy to do it in two steps? I'm happy to do it. No, I'm happy to do it by editing it this one uh, if uh, folks agree. Yeah, so this is Hank. Hi. Um, we could uh, look at the changes, uh, accept basically the changes if they are fine to accept, and then uh, do a second pass, maybe not today, but we could do today with the merge. But we can't merge them with, with the proposed changes still in limbo. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we can. I, if, I, if I understood what Hank said, I agree with his proposal, which is. Uh, if you like my wording changes, accept mine. If you like Hank's wording changes, accept his. So do those as a first pass. Then, once those are merged, then look at the duplication between those two sentences. See if we can yeah. wordsmith on the call, otherwise plan it to the next call. I think that's what Hank just proposed. And that sounds fine <laughs> to me. I think that I tried to say that. Yes, thank you. So, for <laughs> about 8, for me. 8, 16, to, so 816 is, is, is um, generally liked then? I saw You're several changed. people uh, have pointed out on pull requests in the past that we want to use the word attester rather than device. And so that was the main thing that I used here. The other one is just grammatical. Yeah. Okay. So then let's. Um, Same thing there. Device, device to attester was my only change in 817 so far. And Hank made a different change. Made a different change. So we could accept both changes if we needed to. Uh, let me quick read it. Hank's here. He's still got device. So. Um, well, that's because they're additive. Um, I'm not sure I understand the Hank's point, but I don't object to it. 
uh, echo from you, Dave, I think. I'm hearing an echo from you. Oh, yeah, then that's something. Somebody else. <laughs> Nobody else. <laughs> and I don't, I don't hear an echo either of you. Yeah, Lawrence. Okay, I think coming it's from Lawrence. Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Echoing? What? The, if the, nope. You're not hearing the it's echo, Lawrence, cool. which means you're the one producing it. It's bouncing off your wall. Put on a headset. Okay. Okay. No so, echo. My yeah, change. No echo now. Uh, so <laughs> I think I think Dave thinks it's basically easy. I, I would agree with both of them, um, and that's okay. fine. And I think Dave said uh, he does not disagree, but does not see the point right. of my no, no. thingy of the right? uh, I, I'm curious. What do you mean by a set or sequence of boolean? What do you mean by that? Like, ooh, um, yeah, 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 that is basically the in between, uh, and that is what we talked about uh, with the uh, um, um, claims for uh, for suit and the trustworthiness vectors that are not necessarily of trust trustworthiness and all that. These are sequence of rules. They are both all boolean, which is option A, and uh, they are also richer than just a yes and no, which is option C. Uh, so I put a option B, but we can also have a middle ground here that is only boolean, but you have a lot of them. And still, that is not just a Boolean decision, therefore, anymore. And that is the only point I'm making here with the added example in the middle of the set of sequence of Boolean. So, uh, I had interpreted uh, Lawrence's text as uh, that your C includes your B. It's just a trivial special case of C. And that's why I think Lawrence's text was simpler. Yes, that, that was my intent. My intent was to express just a rant there from one one simplest to the most com complex. So right now I prefer Lawrence. I don't think it loses anything. It's easier to read. Um, I don't I don't yet see the value in separating B from C, given that C includes B. Uh, my Hank's perceived value is that uh, he was working on it, uh, and therefore <laughs> just saw, okay, this fits in there. So if nobody really objects, I would like to see it there because it would facilitate uh, arguing, yeah, this is there is this thing, and then we can point to the architecture that says, yeah, there well, is this thing. But if you don't want it, it's also fine. I, I guess one of the things that I don't like about it is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Part of the point of this text to say it's not necessarily Boolean. It may be tri-valued, okay? And so uh, expanding on one axis, like the number of different uh, values, sorry, the number of different uh, claims or whatever is a separate axis from how many different values each claim can take, whether it's Boolean or tri-valued or something else. It seems odd to me to expand on one of the um, uh, axes, but not other ones. And so that's why it just reads odd to me. Yeah, I, I'm with Dave. I'm I'm not married to this, so I, I just read it. I was like, oh yeah, uh, that that's that's uh, was with not with the big context afterthought. Uh, if you do not want to have it in, I don't reject uh, removal. Okay. okay, my preference would be to not have it and to keep closer to Lawrence's text. I will resolve that. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now, if you go back to the files changed view, where hopefully it should be okay. Now you can see eight seventeen, eight nineteen. Actually, expand it down so you can see. Oh no, never mind. Um, yeah, it's it just the one line eight seventeen and eight nineteen. Is there some way to edit that pair of stuff to combine them so it doesn't read like duplication about indicate compliance or non-compliance? Right. Is there some way to merge those two sentences that we can write Smith? Um, okay, because it looks like the main difference, the eight six it well, the eight nineteen has the with a verifier's appraisal policy. What if we take that and move it up right before the comma?
Um, I think that reads okay. What do you think, Lawrence? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm okay with that. Michael, you still there? Yep. Okay. Okay. So, next suggestion. And it is eight seventeen eight nineteen. It's because we deleted something else. Eight eighteen was a blank line. Oh. Okay. You'll have to delete your own branch, Lawrence. Um. Yeah, Lawrence, since the address is issue 54, I don't know if that had the magic keyword in it to close it. So we have to manually close issue 54, Lawrence. Uh, you Yeah, I think if you use a magic keyword like fixes or yeah. closes or something like that, it'll automatically do it. If you don't, then it got to do it manually. The, um, this one, I like where it's going, but it's going to be, it's longer than the other ones. And so if you want to cover it now, it'll take up some time. But uh, I think this is... Uh, Good stuff, right? Because since you can see uh, Lawrence adds, uh, this is a crude first pass to see what interest there is in this. Um, I'll raise my hand. I'm interested. I think it's a good good stuff, and it needs to be wordsmith since it was a crude first pass, and so I spent some time trying to do a little bit of wordsmithing on it. Uh, but uh, I would like to have this be incorporated. Although we will want to delete that line, but if others like it, then it's worth spending time, in my opinion. Let's first do Hank's change. Okay. And we can do the suggestion. Yes, some of these I didn't do suggestions only because uh, you can see some of these, the lines are really long. And it's mm -hmm. going to be easier to do suggestions in place once the lines are broken into uh, multiple pieces. But okay, so. so I was doing a uh, one line sentence because I thought that uh, was easier for us. But uh, you prefer, I guess, yes. It is, um, so that's why I was gonna like what, but okay. Okay, so okay, you did do a case, suggestion okay. here. Uh, yeah. So I was trying to expand TE acronym, expanding the software acronym, and uh, capitalize a tester, things like that. That one, I was expanding the pronoun this and fixing grammar. Hmm. Noting I have an entire document about this subject. Uh, that one, I actually added a meaning change in 1043, uh, which is the part before as well as is new, because it was previously talking about confidentiality of the path. Uh, it said it's not just the path, it's also the confidentiality yeah. of the generator. That's a meaning change. I think that's okay in this. Yep, that's, that's good. Oh, 
Okay, so I've now learned that it's better to merge these beforehand. <laughs> um, because otherwise the second suggestion disappears. One way oh, to really? provision a key, well, you have to go back to the conversation, is to mm -hmm. first generate it. Oh, you're talking about Hank's changes here, yeah. Yeah. Generate it external to the device. To the device. And then? Then copy the secret key onto the device. Uh, do not, I, I deleted secret. Please keep it. And that's because to, uh, well, unless, unless you guys think I'm wrong, but. Uh, copy. Because you had deleted the word secret. Yeah. Is it, say, is, say again why you delete secret? I didn't think it added anything. I mean, you, there's public keys, private keys, shared keys, but what's a secret key? Yeah, agreed. Aren't all secret? I mean, all the well, answer is no, well, but public keys are not necessarily a secret, but I didn't think it was uh, important to talk about whether or not you copy, you also copy a, pri a public key under the device. Yeah, you might you might copy the key. I mean, I've used the term script to refer to the private part of a uh, key pair and a uh, um, SMA key. That was where I'm going with that. Um, I, I strongly, uh, you know, I, I think I think you can remove it if you want to. But uh, that was where I was going with it. You want a parenthesis S? Um. I wanted to match the use of key in the rest of the sentence. We can see one way to provision a key tells me it's mm -hmm. singular because this is talking about maybe each key. Yeah. So, um, I I think what you have on the screen right now is the merge between my change and Hank's change. I think so. Yeah, as you can see, Hank's on the bottom now. Okay, going on for looking at these as a grammar change. Um, so do you want to resolve Hanks now that it's merged into the previous one? So you don't have the same one twice? Uh, I don't. Think I think that one, if you just take resolve conversation on that one or delete either way, now that's, now that's combined yeah. into the top one. Okay. Um, let's see, there's typo, there's no spelling. You can see personal change to personnel. I'm saying I already fixed it. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Makes sense. Um, so Let's Hank adds back Hank. in secret keys, which I don't follow there. But... Let's come back to this then. Yeah. The okay. Step. Okay. Okay. Uh, Commas. Quotes. Yeah, the undoing smart quotes, which don't necessarily show up well in the text copies. What a terrible invention. Okay, so. <laughs> no to your question, Hank. <laughs> you said, does anybody else know what a midnight run is? No? Ah, okay. Yeah, if you <laughs> sneak into the factory and start the production cycle at midnight without nobody no, uh, um, noticing, that's okay. a midnight run. I see. Which is typically a supply chain attack. <laughs> example, go to example. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, maybe what you're doing is putting investigation keys into a device that does a correct behavior. Yeah, so, so there's the midnight run where you produce extra devices which may have some other properties but but then there's the mid there's the attack where you just go and change something that's sitting on the halfway through the uh inventory or something mm -hmm. I, I, I would think is a totally different i mm -hmm. wouldn't call that a midnight run yeah 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 it would, uh, yeah that, that could be just an attack yeah it could be adjusted yes and merge uh
Okay, so let's come back to that part. Um, okay, so Hank suggested change. Um, it's really uh, factories. What facts are, and I uh, expanded these uh, as best to the best of my knowledge. I, I had, I, I admit, I had to read the sentence three times too to figure out what these was. But my conclusion is different from Hank's. Okay. <laughs> My conclusion was that these referred to two things, I mean the combination of two things, right? That's why it's plural. The first thing was the isolation and protection of the attester. And the second thing was the factory processes for provisioning of the attestation material. And Hank's change refers to the second only, which is itself plural, but it excludes the isolation and protection of the attester, which is how I had read it. Either way, I think it is useful to reword the sentence to clarify, but uh, since obviously both of us had a hard time reading it and we came up with different conclusions. Yeah, exactly. Lawrence? I was uh, referring to factory process. Only the factory processes, not the isolation protection of the tester? Um, I mean, they're both important, uh, just whatever the way to structure the sentence is that. Is this talking about when the attestation and here insert Hank comment about don't use word attestation without remote or whatever, um, but uh, becomes worthless because the attacker can forge attestations. I'd read it as saying, oh, well, you're point trying to point out that if you defeat the isolation and protection of the attester, then the remote attestation becomes worthless, which I think is fine to say. It's not just the factory processes. Yeah, okay. Um, and uh, the head comment, the word attestations right. appeared twice, Michael. You changed the second one, but not the first one. Also, the last one, I would forge evidence. Evidence is the thing you yeah. can forge. I think. Uh, I think you're I right. Yeah. And I think yeah. my comment also says that. Um, <clears throat> yep. Yep. You're right. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. This looks better. Um, except for, I still, when. Uh, Maybe when either of these, you know, to make it clear that we're talking about either of two. It's the simplest fix I can think of. I don't know if that makes it super clear, but that's better. Uh, maybe add a comma after a tester where you have the red squiggly. Um, no, don't. I changed my mind. Uh, 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 I think my comment before you can see the red squiggly on implementors is because it's misspelled. It's ERS. There we go. Don't know why it doesn't like that, but I mean, don't know why there's a red squiggly now, but that's the great spelling. I also did not like other words I used, so <laughs> <laughs> they're probably just misspelled. <laughs> I mean, I imagine it doesn't like the red squiggly on a tester because it doesn't know that, it, that it's supposed to be capitalized. It probably is complaining that it's capitalized, but I think that one's fine. Yeah. And I, which is why I'm surprised it doesn't complain about evidence being capitalized. Okay. I, I think that text is now okay. Okay, so here we need to change this to a suggestion. Um, so here, first change, Hank wants remote inserted at the very beginning of the sentence. Yeah, whatever fits best. Remote is the easiest fix. If that is correct, that is fine. If there's a broader goal here uh, intended, then I would like to see the goal uh, elaborated on. Okay, I, yeah, but... I, I agree. That. And you can lowercase the A in attestation now, I believe, is how we've done it elsewhere in the document. I was just about to ask that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Next trivial fix change HW to hardware. That was my bullet three. And then uh, we're into the second line where it's devices, move the apostrophe after the S. 
wait uh i just no, no, it. sorry you already did no never mind you, yeah. you already got it yeah sorry. and as to your point number two yeah a lot of constrained devices do have real operating systems you know um that are a lot that, of them don't yeah yeah some of them just don't but i mean they don't have protection for their operating system they just yeah, so I'm wondering if and free to our toss and blah 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 are definitely have lots of appearances of being a thing. But if they don't have an operating system, is there more some more generic word that we could use there that would be firmware? For firmware? Well, it's saying uh process isolation, and it's only giving an example of a rate gain. So I don't think it's critical that that make that distinction. I think I think uh you know, the, the low security is only process elation. Um and okay. that's just one one example. So it, it, I don't I don't I don't change that. I don't think you should, you should change that. Okay. Also, it's referring to process um, isolation, and these constrained devices yeah. don't have that. But so okay. they don't apply. Doesn't apply to them. Yeah. Okay. I buy that. Yes, that should be, should be or of. No, nope, not that one. Four words later. Change the of to or. Yeah, there we go. Um, all right, and then the this question is on the bottom line where it talks about being able to trust a device, and I'm looking for a word other than device. Um, and I was wondering if the word a tester would be sufficient there. All right, especially since if you look at the end of the first sentence there, it uses the a tester, and so I. I think that is consistent when you talk about being able to modify or inspect the tester and being able to trust the tester so that it matches. So if an Android app is using Android app station to prove his you know, Bank of America, of America Android app, uh, is, uh, is the Bank of America app uh, part of the tester? Um, I would say I don't know the implementation, but it might be absolutely if it's layered attestation and that's the top layer, yes. I mean, it, if you think of it would be the it would be the uh, what do we call it the attested environment and an attester consists of two types of environments, the attesting environment and the target environment and it's the target environment and that is included in part of the tester as our definitions. Okay, okay, agreed. Sorry, was there something to edit there? I wasn't I I No. I don't think so. Okay. All uh, right. So, uh, I'm so going to hit my, resolve can, here. Yeah, can resolve yeah. mine, but we haven't so touched see it together. Um yeah. now. So, okay. So, yeah, I think Hank has a good point too. Um So I think uh, the core question being asked, I mean, out of Hank's points, the main one is, um, why do you care about modifying the attester? Why is that relevant to this text? Whether it's true or not, why is it relevant, I think, is the question. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just a statement at the moment, which we assume has a meaning. So, so uh, what? Why is 
Is what relevant? What's, what's the question? Why is it relevant whether a owner or user can modify or, in particular, inspect the attester? So, in other words, why do you care whether the user can install a banking application on your Android phone or not? Because right now it says, in some cases, you must not be able to install such an application. Why is that point relevant? Okay, so uh, if you're, if you're, I think I think I've said this already. Um, if, if you're a router, router owner and you're just uh, figure out if the router closet and you know, is, is is doing okay, okay that's one. Um, but uh, if in the in a penable app world, you really don't want the end user to be mucking around with the actor um, or the the file authenticator. If the, the end user can find the FIDO authenticator, then they can, um, uh, the, the end user, the, the attacker, the end user captured the device, has physical control of the device, modified the authenticator, except uh, authenticating from, from them, the attacker. So uh, you can't allow that. Otherwise, you can defeat the system. Um, I think a little here is that. Um, you know, a bank or you know, an airline or a stock trading app, they take responsibility for the security of the system end to end, and the system is incredibly complicated. The user can't be trusted to muck around with it. Just like you don't want, you know, the, you know, the, the end user mocking with your anti lock breaks. I mean, you don't want to go in there and mess around with that stuff because, because you know, you've you kind of void the warranty because the end user isn't qualified to do those kinds, those kinds of things. Right. So that's a few things. Uh, this, the second point, it's mostly the policy decision that says if you have modified it or whatever, then it will fail at a state remote attestation as the process that you're using to check that. Would you agree with that? There's, there's nothing physically that prevents you perfectly. It's just you're using attestation as the way to verify that that has not been done. Well, I mean, you don't want the the end user to be being at a status either, because that means that means the user can download an app, uh, an an app that can attack the tester that will copy the keys and be able to forge uh, at a stations. So you basically have to keep the end user away from the keys and the tester, because I mean, they just said they can they can. So okay, so and hence question you see, environment, yeah. Sorry. Yes, I was just gonna say, do you mean effectively the attesting environment of the attester? And I think his answer is yes, that he means the attesting environment. He does not mean the attester. I think you're right, Hank. Because he keeps talking about Lawrence is talking about the FIDO authenticator, not the attester as a whole, which may include the application. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Okay. Uh, also, I think that the uh, I think so that the uh, FIDO authenticator is a part of the attesting environment yes. or is communicating with the attesting environment. It's not also not the complete attesting environment. Apparently, I agree. It, well, that I don't know, but you're probably right. I don't know enough to say that, that that's right, but that makes sense to me. Yeah, no, that's. Um, and uh, Lawrence, why do you care whether they inspect it? So they don't copy the attestation keys, uh, and uh, well, so they don't inadvertently download an app, app that copies the station keys, then sends the attestation keys to the place where they put the attestations. But you could inspect FIDO Authenticator code just fine. There's no issue in that, right? And you're yeah, yeah, sure. The, the key, I mean, right? I'm you sure there's, there's... Your, You have to protect your key store. But that's different from protecting it from inspection, the attesting environments, uh, say, code pages. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, um, I'm sure there's some bio attackers that are bad code and use obscure, but really no doubt, yes. My bank won't let me do banking, certain, certain banking things if I have debugging enabled on my phone, period. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm never quite, well, I haven't found anyone has a clue. I think it's cluelessness. <laughs> but uh, but 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 uh, a suspicion I have is that they believe that I would be able to debug through their code and do something uh, which they don't like, which tells me it's probably insecure to begin with. But um, uh, well, I so I th th that I think I do know why, but go on. Well, OK, um, so but the 
so the the thing I think is the problem is that the word inspect here is a little bit uh, involved. Um, and as you, the word you used, you know, people should be able to review the code, audit the code. Sure. Um, I, I but, think the, I think the meaning that uh, Lawrence means is if you were to replace inspect with exfiltrate keys from. Yes. It would exactly. have the meaning that he that he has. Yeah. So that's what I, I, I understand him to have the meaning. I just don't think the word inspect here yeah. is quite getting at it. So replace uh, it with exfiltrate keys from. Uh, OK, if you. At least that that retains his meaning. We could make some changes, yeah. But I think that uh, yeah, that's fine. Is there any other content from Hanks that we need to get here before I hit? Um, yeah, uh, the second sentence: the point of the attestation insert remote was Hanks' third point. Optionally insert procedure after that. I don't think it's necessary, but technically Hank suggested procedure, but I like it either way. This is the way that you have it is fine with me. Yeah, and yeah. maybe remove the the I now realize the point of remote attestation. I think that is just yeah, and now you can delete procedure. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, oh, and, uh, we're gonna then put per, no, no, put, just put delete the whole group name now. Um <laughs> are are we capitalizing relying party as a defined term? Okay, let's capitalize that. Um, and then in the first sentence where it ends in from the attester, I think, uh, I, uh, I guess it depends on where this appears in the document. If this appears after we define, after the two types of environments, then I think, Hank, your point was, this is not talking about the attester is talking about the attesting environment of the attester. And I don't know if I think so, yes. that explicit. The, the topic is says it's security considerations. That would be uh, after okay, the, the end. OK, then yes, I think it would be good to, to, to change that. Sorry, to change what? At the end of the first line, where it says attester, right before that, right before the word attester, insert attesting environment of the Like that? I think so. Hank, is that what you wanted? Mm hmm Okay. Yep. Okay. Don't know what the problem is. Uh, That's exactly my point. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. So uh, if we delete those two, I don't know if there's loss of information. I guess it's probably a question for uh, Laura to say, is there something important here to capture? If so, can you explain it? Because neither Hank nor I understood it. So I, I don't think that there's any difference between this the the state of a router router and a wiring closet far away is any different than the state of the of a phone, which right. is also right. in, a, in a consumer far away. Um, so so I'm not I'm not saying anything higher about the uh, the phone. What I'm saying is that there's, the router is not in any way lower in a different lower state. Maybe error. If this is just another case that the point is the same as what is we've covered up above. And so deleting this wouldn't be loss of information because we cover every other possible use case either. Yeah, I would agree with that. Sorry, what was that, Eric? I was agreeing uh, with Michael's assertion. Okay. So, I mean, the owner, owner or router. Um, it is like the, you know, the ISP or the telco or something like that. Uh, and I would think they, I don't know that world, world so, but I would think they get all whatever software they, they want uh, and even software that is not from the, 
vendor of that router, I would, I would think that I want to look at the attestation keys to and be the ones to install the keys. It just seems like, uh, you know, they really, really own that. Router. So your distinction, Lawrence, is that when I own my phone, I don't get to change the attestation keys. But when I own a router, I do. Well, I have news for you. When I own the router, I don't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> and there's many problems with both states states of affairs. But um, at this point, if you are installing additional software on the router, then it's coming either through something like, yes, and literally an app store or uh, it's through the vendor who does something. Okay, okay. Then, then the sentence, fine, fine. And I, 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 I thought that uh, you got, uh, you, you got your router soft, uh, and I was just trying to be accommodating and, and, you know, uh, understand the router world, which I don't understand. Uh, it's clear I don't understand. <laughs> so I, I, you can talk. I think part of, yeah, I think it's okay to delete. Um, I think part of what Lawrence is pointing out, I have a comment on later on, maybe not in the context of a router, but um, I have a suggestion later on that will um, cover, I think, part of what Lawrence is. Yeah, that, that's true, true. Maybe, maybe it's router, maybe it's the sensor for your temperature yes. sensor in your nuclear power, power plant. Yeah, I'll get to that when we get to that, but yes, right, what Lawrence said. So, can't pass grammar in perhaps restricting in here. Some of the measures for low security include, number one, processor application isolation by a high-level operating system. Number two, perhaps restricting access route. I don't know what it means by restricting access route. It should be access to route. Okay. All right, grammar fixed. Um, although since include, there needs to be an and somewhere, maybe and perhaps, or or either an and or, because this is a list and we have to terminate the list with an appropriate preposition grammatically. E after the comma, either an and or an or may include, uh, okay, sure. Uh, like a sound bar jumped out at me is odd, but. Pardon me? Um, in the bottom line there, I, it's not horrible. It just read oddly to me, uh, to somehow call out a sound bar as an example. Um, do we need an example? Otherwise you could have a generic example, like a sensor or, or something like that. I don't know why, I don't know if just. Was, uh, if, if nothing bad. else, if nothing else, I would prefer to say, I think you mean Bluetooth speaker. But sure, okay. Um, I'd rather pick some, something as an obvious low security example. Bluetooth is capitalized. T two. There you go. Is the T two as well? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I'm let me check. I'll, I'm going to check the Bluetooth Sigs website. I mean, it is I BT. So. BT is BT is abbreviated to BT. It, it, it is not capitalized. <laughs> the Bluetooth.com website uh, only capitalizes the B. You're right; it's capitalized in the acronym BT, but uh, when spelled out, it is lowercase T. I don't know what to no. do with Hank's comment here. No either, but uh, suddenly medium, then high. Uh, so it implies everything before was about low. Is that correct? Yeah. So uh, it, 10 32 low. does ah, so. There. there it is. Ah. Oh, I, I miss, ah. Okay. Yeah, then disregard my no, comment. No, 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 no. Yeah, hold on. Your, your point go, go up uh, yeah. down below. It's always medium level security, high level security. Here it is low ah, security. Yeah, you yeah. need to insert level. Yeah, that is also consistent. Yes. But it doesn't start with it, and I was confused, but actually I misread it. So uh, my actual point was not the level, but the missing yeah. anything. 
Okay, now we've level set. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, resolve that. Yeah, implement confidentiality just uh, rubbed me the wrong way, so I reworded the sentence. Um, I didn't I'm like the uh, Hank. Yeah, I didn't like the your 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 addition of the word secret. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw that were coming. So yeah, you moved. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. And Hank, I have to ask to mm -hmm. attestation before as being needing remote attestation. And here is attestation keys. Do you need that to have the word right. remote before attestation keys or attestation keys by itself is okay? Attestation keys by itself is okay. It, okay. Uh, I think they are well established. Okay. Attestation itself is sometimes the process, sometimes it's the message. In this case, it's the keys. That's okay. very, very- uh, Okay, then that's fine. Okay, since uh, this was your request, just letting- <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for paying attention here. That is uh, very appreciated. Uh, yes, I agree with your, your comment. Um, uh, we could text around that. Um, yeah, since this one is not a simple uh, change, this is, uh, I, I'm wondering, Michael, do you want to merge the ones that you've already captured right now, which are all wordsmithing, and see how many comments we have left? And Lawrence, that was a comment I was referring to that some of your point that we were asking about routers um, is the same as what I'm thinking about on that one, so. Okay, so, uh, so let's go ahead and do that one and delete 10, 18, and 19. And then you can resolve my comment here. Because so far, it's I'm gathering on the call that nobody is objecting to editing the stuff. I think it's good stuff. So, mm -hmm. okay. So let's, uh, Michael, can you uh, open up a uh, edit uh, and delete ten eight or sorry the ten eighteen and one of the two blank lines. Hey. Okay. Well, two blank lines, but no big deal. Yeah. All right. So then, my comment is the only one left. Okay. Um, yeah. So just to summarize what I'm saying here, right now the text is written, at least some of the text that talks about manufacture and factory, is talking about the case where the attestation keys are uh, provisioned by the or at the time of manufacture. Right. There's other cases, um, and there, technically there's two other cases because there's the case where you have uh, countersigning, where you have say the owner has to countersign, and so you only pass verification if the if there's endorsements from both the manufacturer and the owner. Right. And then there's another case where you have some process by which, when you take ownership of a device, you generate the equivalent of a countersigning at that time and say this is now my device. And uh, that process includes attesting that the manufacturer's endorsement is good. And then after that point in time, you use only the owner's key because that is implicitly included. You wouldn't have signed it if it didn't attest uh, from the manufacturer to begin with. And so after that point in time, the verifier only cares about whether it uh, is endorsed by the owner. Um, and so I just wanted to say that a lot of this text is works in all three of those cases. And an example, the countersigning does come up in suit where we have the suit manifest that we talked about in suit that you can have things be countersigned and so on. And so the same thing applies in attestation owner things because one of the 
security issues is just because a device is manufacturer valid doesn't mean that I want to trust it. I only want to trust the ones that are on my premises, for example. If it's a, uh, if it's a camera, let's say, I only care about the cameras that I own. I don't care about somebody else with their own camera that comes from the same manufacturer that's just as valid, but they own it, it's on their premises. I don't care about that. And so this notion of countersigning with an attestation key that is specific to the owner is actually important. And this is what overlaps, I said, with what uh, Lawrence was trying to get at with routers. Right, but the same right. thing can occur so, with any type of sensor. So, uh, I want to, so, so countersigning, is, countersigning is one way to implement this, just listing the Correct. serial and numbers right. that you trust is another. Yep, um, yep, yep. Um, the point is, so if, how do we get time that you have Anytime that you have a provisioning of keys used for attestation, it's not just the manufacturer. And so there right. are a couple times in this tech in this PR that talks about the manufacturer, but that's not the only case where the provisioning can happen. And so I'm wondering if we can generalize it beyond just the manufacturer in a couple of sentences. Hmm. And so it comes up if you just search for the word manufacturer, there's a couple of sentences that I'm and I didn't have a wording suggestion because I didn't think through exactly how I might do that. But uh because the uh, yeah, factory key provisioning process assumes that it's only in a factory, but it does say in 1042 or elsewhere, right? Um, when it calls it the factory key provisioning process, I wonder if it's just the, uh, what if we change in the name of the process, the word provisioning, it would, if we change factory key provisioning to just be attestation key provisioning. And it still says is the process that occurs in the factory or elsewhere. If we change 1040 and 1042, both 1040 and 1042 from factory key provisioning to attestation key provisioning. Yeah, that seems so, so okay. That's good, actually. Um, I'm a little unsure about this counter counter sign. Um, uh, but uh, I, I guess I'll think about that. About that. Um, I mean, I mean, I've, I've been kind of trying to have a strong association between attestation and, and manufacturing that, you know, that the Attestation is all about implementation. It's and I'm saying, about, in, in cases okay. that I'm familiar with, it's not, right? Endorsements are not specific to the manufacturer. There are manufacturers, but there are also endorsements that come from entities other than the manufacturer. And how do you provision the keys used for that? And this, this process here that you're talking about is the same. I think I'm, I'm think about this, about this but, um, uh, using uh, attestation um, to prove ownership. Um, uh, at, like, yeah, absolutely. It's different than, I'm not sure that's that attestation. That it is. You can use attestation for any type of claims. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can. And um, proving ownership is one of them. No. Attestation is defined as the as being able to prove the or you know assert the trustworthiness of a device, and it comes into whether you trust it or not. Ownership is absolutely an element of uh, whether you trust a device. I, I hear what you're saying, and I'm not. I, I'm going to think about that. Just because it may not be used in the use cases you're familiar with doesn't mean that it's not common in other people's use cases. I believe that people will do it. Just one year, I would call it attestation. Um, and put it in the same rest of them. I mean, it seems like, you know, FIDO, you could call FIDO attestation because you're trying to decide that with trust device or something, maybe. I, I, I don't know. I'm thinking a little bit. But, but, um, uh, so 1046. Um, I'm wondering if we change the word factory to be provisioning environment. So remember, 1042 says factory or elsewhere, and here it just says factory. Uh, a word after your cursor, right? physical factory security. And if we change factory to provisioning environment, no, physical provisioning environment. Well, okay, yeah, either way is fine. Yeah, right. physics it, it, is it, important. I think physical is important. Right, but whether it's physical provisioning environment security or provisioning environment physical security, I don't know which one is better. And I saw Michael thinking the other one, and I don't care which, whichever one you think is right, Michael. Uh, and then enter the factory, actually provisioning environment. Uh, is environment the right word there? 
trying to think of if I can think of a better word because we use the term environment. It'll be like a testing environment and target I, environment. I, it's a different meaning. I'm also not facility? happy with environment security. Facility? How about facility? I think you use the word facility somewhere, Lawrence. No, that's good. Good. And then that can enter the uh, enter the facility. We can see at the end of the second sentence. And then uh, middle of the third sentence, special area of the factory. Okay, good. Um, okay, I don't know if there's any place else, but I think that text is now fine. Um, I don't know if there's any place else that uses the term manufacturer or factory besides the text we just looked at. Uh, but that was the parts that jumped out at me. Oh, there it is, 1054. Uh, and yeah, so I, my, my edits to this paragraph, are lost. so this line are lost, by the way, I think. I just sneak them back in. Well, Michael, uh, don't say the facility process, say the attestation key provisioning process, or just key provisioning process. And then go ahead, Hank. Yeah, my, my, my confusion is that there was a comment about midnight run here that was not addressed, okay. and also a, pro a suggestion which I sneaked in again. But this is somehow gone. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to the other part. Just don't second. leave that one yet. Don't leave that one yet because there's a factory beginning of the third line. Yeah. Uh, Provisioning facility. Isn't there? A provisioning facility? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine too. Just facility. Sure. But I would say provisioning facility there because it's. I don't care. Do we. Either. Uh, I, well, I know what midnight production run is. <clears throat> is this something we should explain or reference? Yeah, yeah I well, think we should expand I, I, it I, in a way. Um, I guess I, I would question because I'd be the, part of the reason I don't think it's obvious is, is it's not obvious why a midnight run generates counterfeit devices as opposed to just more uh, uh, authentic devices. Yeah, I, I think uh, we need to I, yeah, I don't know what it means to have a midnight run of counterfeit devices. I know what it means to have a midnight run, which is extra devices, but that doesn't make them counterfeit in my mind. Uh, they're stolen. <laughs> it's more of what they are than they are. Uh, yeah, but they're not counterfeit. Yeah, yeah, they're not counterfeit, yeah. Um, And right, because they'll still attest as valid. All the, the 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 attack is just they didn't get the uh, the the money that, that from somebody purchasing them. Right, the devices are still just well, as good. I guess as the, the other question is whether or not they have whether they have duplicate serial numbers. In some cases, you well, that would be the incorrectly configured well. part, right? Because the after the or is the yeah. incorrectly configured, right? I, I don't have any complaints about the incorrectly configured part. I'm asking about the part before the or. But when I do something like serial yeah. number, I actually screw up the original, the 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 correctly configured device as well. Right? Fair enough. Okay, yes. because yes. I may I may create a uh, an evidence trail that doesn't relate to it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. You you've um, broken but, the uh, non repudiability of the correct one. Yes. So so I still think this needs to be. I my my preference would be to have a reference here that. Mm -hmm. uh, that that it would be referenced some other paper explanation, and that would be it. We don't have to go into it. Um, Can we at least delete counterfeit or and just call them incorrectly configured devices? I don't know if I like that, I think counterfeit's a really important term here. But if they come from a valid facility with valid keys, they're not counterfeit, right? Yeah. So so I uh, think that's, a, that's splitting in air. Yeah. Here, Dave, because the the marketing department considers them counterfeit, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Just not the just not the engineering uh, uh, group, right? They're, so they're we agree that with you. They're, they're counterfeit if they behave correctly. But the point is, in the example I'm talking about, they behave perfectly correctly. The only difference is they were stolen. 
I don't think we care about stolen the device, though. Uh, Michael, well, you but said the, point is, the, point of the, the point of the midnight run is that you pop in when no one's there from, from you know, uh, uh, for the, the third shift, and you do a run of, of devices, which look completely correct, but you leave with them and sell them yourself. Right. Yeah, okay, okay so then okay. the then that was really the wrong term here, because not what I was after. Um, it, it's it's about devices that have the application key. So for many uh, uses of all physical security at the facility. Would that work? Typo manufactured with a D. I think um, surreptitious production run is better than, than uh, at midnight. I mean, if you terminate and you delete all the rest of the text, uh, is, that, is that what you're asking, Michael? Yeah, I'm saying just delete the rest of this. I, I'm fine with that. I don't know if that this is anything that Lawrence wanted, but that reads fine to me. You can come back if with a reference and you know and say this, I, and I would love that. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find a random reference. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I, 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 that 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 doesn't seem clear to me. Um, and I think the I think counterfeit and incorrect directly can be actually important concepts here. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't capture that at all. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I like that wording as you have it now. Uh, and that's American, right? Perfect. Authorized as a Z. Yep. Okay, it's 11 past 11. Uh, yep. If you're happy with this, then let's commit it. Um, I was just going to check to yep. see, is there any other place that uh, manufacturer or factory appears? Uh, I'm just doing a search on my own screen here. Still uh, does not show my uh, suggestion for the last paragraph, but... Uh... Um, well, it's going to be in the in the discussion still. Hank, we'll come back to there. Okay. Factory with a facility. Um, it's not sh yet showing me that you've pushed the changes, that you've committed the changes you've just staged. Uh, okay, I have to uh, refresh, so maybe you just did. Right. Hold on. No, I didn't get it right. Because, uh, like, when we changed the factory key provisioning to attestation key provisioning, that still shows as being a suggested change, not committed yet. Yeah, just a second. Okay. Now, I'm just Hank. doing a check net now. Uh, the only hit that I got is line 1053. Here, Here you go, Hank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah. Yeah, so let's uh, do some wordsmithing of this one. Is this, uh, in my check, 1053 was the only line that I found that still used the word uh, manufacturer um, without saying manufacturer or elsewhere. Okay, so, but Hank has ch suggested a change here anyway. Yep. Generated by the 
key provisioning facility? I would delete that is generated by the manufacturer and you say that only key material or attestation key material is probably even better. Let's ensure that only attestation key material and I'll delete that is generated by the uh, oh well, hold on. That is generated by I think it's okay to leave as is generated by um, the is endorser the right word here? Generated by an endor a valid endorser? I say as a question. As the manufacturer is an example of an endorser, but uh, only attestation key material is generated by a valid endorser. Is my yeah, it is endorser, yes. So that is correct. Um, I mean, I've I've been mixed about about the word endorser, sir, so I haven't been using it until I feel like that's so what we're going to say about that. So so we we expand the definition of endorser to be uh, reasonably broad. Uh, then endorser is the right, the right word, probably in some other places, but um, I guess it is a little. So the endorser is a uh, secret uh, to hardware yeah. in your phone, for example, yeah. and then you can do key derivation yeah. functions for it, uh, creates uh, corresponding endorsement. Yeah. Of so endorser does uh, um, conveyance to the verifier and the tester both. Uh, but yeah, the provisioning procedures that are not in scope yet. Um, Michael, there's still a use of factory in the third line. Uh, yeah, the, the, so, but but we've already edited this as well with the midnight thing. So I think I'm, we're going to screw this up. So I just want to go back and to the make sure we get this right. So I was going to cancel. I just copied the first sentence out. Okay, gotcha. To a, to a it. pad and then and I'm just gonna do this. So so okay. gotcha. um this will involves physical history to make sure the attacker doesn't do a midnight run, but we 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 change that. Mm -hmm. But have you committed it yet? Well, I thought so. Here, where mm -hmm. it is, right here. Yeah, it has been committed. So, yeah. okay, so bring up the new line 1053. Cancel. Okay. Okay, so re edit that one. I just and wanted this part. Um, right. And so here, change manufacturer to endorser. Well, this is what we just uh, figured out. So, in all cases, yeah. yep. the facility process. Okay, yep, fine. Um, I actually like the attestation key provisioning process better than the facility process. Right, because we actually already replaced, that was manufactory there. We already replaced it, test. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I like it. Yeah, I'm 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 a little about this, but because it loses some of the specs, uh, you know, it's not specific, and I think it's. it's for me, the, the concept of endorser is to still, I don't know, I don't know, out there. Well, I have to go to another meeting, I'm sorry. Yep. Okay. okay. Um, do you want me to merge this? I think it's okay. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, we can, it's not the... <laughs> right, <laughs> you can always generate a new core request, but uh, I don't think anything is broken in this, so I like merging it. But thanks for writing this up, Lawrence. This is good stuff. All right.
Uh, so, so my route here, I gotta go to, to talk to you next week. Yeah, yeah. See you next week. Thanks, next week. Bye bye. <laughs>